catfish people, what's up? I ain't even put the rods in the water yet. It is so hot out here. I think Satan just come up out the river and asked me for a cup of ice water. Y'all hear that music in the background? They're having a picnic up there. New spot tonight. We still on the dam though. Let's give y'all a tour. Let's let y'all see what I got going on here. Y'all see my fake bucket over there? I don't know. I can't see the camera. Let me flip this thing around here. Flip this thing around here. There we go. That's my minnow bucket. Well, it got a live bluegill. Lord, look at that pretty size right there. All oh, them beautiful catfish. Prime for the picking. We might not catch a single one. Look at my little hillbilly light set up. <laughs> Look, I ain't even put my rods in the holster yet. Somebody been down here with a campfire. We might start that thing tonight, get some more light going on. Got my chair set up. My rod holders. The bank, I'm gonna probably bust my butt on a couple of times tonight cause this is slick as oil. <clears throat> somebody got them a makeshift rod holder over there. So somebody been down here fishing. Y'all see it? Right there. Old timey rod holder. Let's walk over here and see where somebody been fishing at over here. Hey, y'all might watch me. Somebody's had some big rod holders in the ground right there. This boy, I'm gonna tell you, this stuff is slick. Oh, yeah, somebody been down here. That trail keeps it going. The back of the camera off. That trail just keeps on and going. Y'all can see it's water deep down in here. I had to walk to get back in here, y'all. I had to really pack my equipment to get back to this spot. Got my little bait bucket going. Got me some bluegills in here. Little bluegills. We're going to see if we can't get us some flathead tonight, y'all. Oh. Hey, we're going to see if we can't get y'all some flathead tonight. Oh, man. Hey. It's hot as blue blazes. I probably look like hell, too. I've sweated repeatedly. Oh, and I'm not sponsoring them as a company I used to work for. <clears throat> I'm not sponsoring them, but they were very good to me. They're called Landor Properties or Landor Management. Uh, it's a company I used to do property 
I used to do property maintenance for. They're out of Charlotte, North Carolina. But I'm not, uh, I'm not advertising them. It's got some promise, uh, well, this whole river's got promise, but this area looks like it might have some promise. It does have some promise with some tangled up. I don't know if y'all be able to see it through this camera. I will zoom in. If y'all can see right, my fat fingers is going to get in the way. Right there at the, my finger is some rock. It's, a lot, it's some rock in the middle of this thing all the way across. If y'all can see that colorization in the water, the black... That's some rock shelf, right dead center of the river. So there it is from a distance. There it is zoomed in. So it gives y'all an idea. Whoa, <laughs> that was too close. Uh, hey, we gonna get these rods casted out. And I hope I didn't do all this work for nothing. Whew, I tell you, I <laughs> hey, I gotta sit here and cool off a minute, man. I'll tell you, it was a hike back in here. I just took two trips back in here to get my gear. It's about the hike of a football field. So it's about it's about a hundred yard walk to where I'm at. So, you know, about two two football fields. About two hundred yards trip. About two football trips, about two football field trips back in here. I'm tongue tied because I'm telling you what, I'm it's hot, <clears throat> it's so humid. Hey, let me get these rods casted out, and I swear I hope I get y'all some fish on here tonight for all this hard work I put in to get back in here. Hey, we'll be back. Hopefully, we got y'all fish. Fish on, y'all. Live bait, too. I got to test some drag on this one. The old boss fucked my ass. Got me hung up. That might be the case, y'all. Walk it down.
y'all can tell. I am dang on something. And I got a fish on. Oh, Lord. Let me pause this. Oh, bless it. Got him in home, y'all. Freak yeah. Oh, patience pays off. Patience pays off, y'all. If I can step down here, Wayne. Oh, me. Well, I can't get no good spot. Patience pays off, y'all. Let me pause this. Hey, you had me hung up, y'all. I paused it. As soon as I paused it, I let the drag off. And I just let him run with it. And as soon as he started spinning it off, I tightened the drag back down and he popped it real good and let it go. Got y'all blue for the night. I'm going to say mm, 15 maybe. Live bait, bluegill. Hey, let's get him in the water. We'll be back. Hopefully we get y'all a lot more. Hey, I want to tell y'all what. The bugs are eating me alive. Deep woods off don't do no good. The rods are popping. I just got a message from a buddy of mine. He's down at the uh, train track. He said he's done got three. Heck yeah. Hey. Fishing on the dam is like, it is hot right now. I mean, it is on fire. Catfish are, look, the catfish are biting on the dam right now. Everybody I talk to are just slaying catfish on the dam right now. They just slaying them. Like I said, I got a buddy right now. He's down at the train tracks. He said he's got three on, he said he's got three. He's done caught three so far. Hey, way to go, bro. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I got my lights turned off. I'll click them on when I go to, when I, you know, when I got one on, I can click the light on. I try not, I got to turn the lights off because the bugs are just eating me alive. So I got to sit in the dark. I got my green lights on. Um. That last fish caught was caught on the big pin worth. That's just my that's my lucky rod, y'all. I love my big I love my big cat fever rods too. I catch a lot of fish on them. But I catch just as many on that big pin worth. I guess because I can get out there and get in them deep holes on the other side of the river with that one. I'll be so glad when the big cat fever, when they make a 10 foot rod. Come on guys, come on guys. Y'all gotta make a 10 footer, y'all gotta make a 10 footer. Um, I'm, I'm using, I got some chicken with me tonight. I ain't putting none on because the guys that put me on this spot told me that, um. They was getting ate up by the turtles. The turtles was just, they was, 
killing their bait. So I ain't put no chicken on yet because I really am not trying to deal with turtles. Um, and typically, I don't have bad luck with turtles on cut bait. When I'm using cut bluegill or live bluegill, I usually don't have problems with turtles that bad. I hope I just didn't jinx myself. But um, that one was caught on a live bluegill about about three inches. Bluegill about. bluegill about yay long about two and a half three inches long i went and caught a bunch of those today i used a little itty bitty golden uh and little uh eagle claw uh -oh. oh we had a fish on there for a second y'all then it down not on Uh, I got on. Uh, um, I had some of little, them little small uh, eagle claw hooks. So I went and got me some little small bluegills. I caught a couple of big ones too, but you know I cut them up. But I got some perfect, some perfect flathead blue size bluegill. Like I caught that old blue on a live cut bait. Well, on the live bluegill, my um, two cat fever rods. I've got um, some uh, frozen bluegill that I had caught yesterday <clears throat> that I brought back with me. And uh, I had a couple of bluegill that I caught earlier that were dead, that died, throat hooked in. So I'm using them first. So I got them two, my two, my two cat fever rods have got cut bait on them, cut bluegill, and the pen has got live bluegill on it. Uh, I'm using, as always, Team Catfish Circle hooks. I'm using my um, same four and three ounce flat, no roll sinker. I'm using uh, six and four all circle hooks. I still got that Berkeley Trilene line on my rods. Thirty pound test on all my rods. I'm using uh, two of my rods have got that neon green. I guess is what it's called. And then the other one has got that, uh, the, my backup rod had, um, it had the, uh, the, uh, 25, it's actually got 25 pound test on it. And it's got that, uh, I guess it's that solar or whatever, that, that hunter looking green, that real dark green color. I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is. It's all Berkeley Trilene, you know. I'm using all Carolina rigs. Hey, we'll tune back in. Hopefully we got y'all another one. Catfish people, what's up? Hey, look at here what we got going on for y'all. Got the lights on. Chair set up. Rods rolled out. Look at that. Ain't that a pretty sight? Ain't no bells jingling though. That ain't what pretty. That ain't pretty. Old bait bucket. That's got cut bait in it. Take y'all on a tour of the site. The old bait bucket. It got some old chicken and bluegills in it. The old pin. Ooh, there's a jingling. Y'all hear? I take y'all. Let y'all see what my rods look like here. Oh man. And my rod holders.
my little bells. I love him bells, y'all. As I have a tendency of dozing off sometimes. <laughs> and that bell will wake me up. I think I hear him in my sleep at home. If any of y'all watch my memorial to Robbie, that's the Robbie rod and reel. That's the one we got for Robbie. That's the pin 6000. Uh, that's Robbie's rod. Oh, there's my quantum. Trying not to get the shadow on the rod. There we go. I'm still casting the shadow on it. That one's a jingle. Your foot rod is bent. <clears throat> Bending, y'all. There's my live bait bucket. I got me a light set up on this so I can see down there. I use this spotlight right there. That's a battery operated, I mean a rechargeable spotlight. I use this so I can see down the, down the river. So I can see what's going on. So, in my chair. So there y'all go. Y'all wanna see this. Mm. Ain't that a pretty sight? Man, I wish one of them would bend over for y'all. That'd be nice. Hey. Boop. Man, I am always got this light on in y'all's eyes. Oh man. Hey. Hey. We're gonna pause this. I hope when I come back we got one on the line for y'all. I think we got two fish on y'all. Nope. <laughs> Stick on the other one. We might have a fish on this one. Hell, I don't know. The didn't just come off. The light.
We coming, y'all. <laughs> we tangled up. There we go. Woo. Sorry about that. I caught a stick on one rod and got shot. Damn, oh, what's going on with my light here? This is as bright as it'll get. Oh. That's y'all in it. Damn, I'm always. Oh, get this out of the way. Something snagged a 10 foot rod. I thought it was a fish. You took it down. Got it in. It was a big old tree limb. And then we got y'all this little child cat. Wee! Pause this, get y'all a picture. Alright, y'all, we back. Got y'all a little channel cat. Hey, let's go put him back in the water. Two tonight. Heck yeah. What's up, y'all? Hmm. Hey, y'all can't see shit. I know we in the dark again. The bugs, man, the bugs. Ooh, the bugs are bad. Oh, I got the camera turned around. Do I got the camera around? Yeah, I do got the camera turned around. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right, now, let's give you all a recap. That is one for the Quantum Big Game. We got a channel. And... We got a blue on the big pen. You know what? We're going to call the big pen the Tar Heel because it's blue. So we got a blue on the Tar Heel. And we got a channel on the big cat with the quantum. Now, come on, Robbie. Shine on down. Let's see if we can't get us a flat on Robbie's rod. Hey, we'd hit the trifecta. That would be a nice night. It really would. That would be that would be a perfect night. Can we have a perfect night? Probably not. We ain't we don't have many perfect nights. But you know what? We've had a blessed night. We put two on film to the bank, and that is a blessed night. Anytime you can bring one to the bank, it's a blessed night. It don't matter the size. Hey, let's see if we can get y'all another one. Hey, we back. Hey, we stopped at the dollar store today. Got us a snack. I don't know if y'all can see it. It says... And then on the back, it says... Vegan, kosher, non-GMO, soy-free, dairy-free, egg-free, gluten-free, preservative-free, Additive free, made in an allergy free facility with no peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, eggs, soy, or glue. Hey, hopefully, they won't make me sick. Everything checks out. So, might be a good little snack. Got them at the dollar, the family dollar. It's where I, I go buy my batteries at the family dollar. You get eight batteries for a dollar, you can't beat it. Because I use all these lights, I had to buy batteries. I cannot spend high dollar money on batteries. I go through two packs of them dollar batteries a night. So, hey, it's better than going through a $7 pack of batteries a night. Hey, we're going to snack. And hopefully, while we snacking, one of these big old flatheads will decide to snack on that live bluegill. Okay, I'm back. Verdict's out. They taste like strawberry flavored popcorn. <laughs> they are puffy like popcorn. It tastes like a strawberry flavored popcorn. So if you like popcorn, you like this. I'm not a big popcorn fan. But I'm not wasteful neither. So I'm going to tolerate them and eat them. They're kind of crunchy. 
they're very tart. Kind of grow on you. They're not very good. I might be wasteful. Yes, I can eat these. They are horrible. Yeah. Ooh, nasty. Fish on, y'all. I'm getting ready to tangle some lines up now. I can't see. <laughs> I can't tell where he's at. Yeah, he's right here. <laughs> I already got him up here. Oh. Coming, y'all. We in the dark. That hit so hard, so fast. I didn't have a time. I didn't have time to do nothing. Oh man, I'm tangled up too. I got a hell of a knot. He ripped the rod down, y'all. Oh. If I can't pop his bell right here with my foot. Some damn tension. I done tore my, my rod is a mess. <sighs> Y'all get ready to see why. about that y'all ah. I need to move it hey let me pause this and move this camera back so it's too close I can't move there we go oh man Whew. how about that y'all mm. I don't know what's going on with my lighting I, I just ain't got it set up good. Oh, man. Whew. Let me take a picture. I'll be back. Whew. Nice one, y'all. We go get him back in the water. Oh, man. Yeah. That's a nice blue there, y'all. Nice big old blue. I'm gonna say that 
25 maybe. Uh, 25, 30. Man. Hey, I apologize about the lighting on that one, y'all. Hey, he hit the rod. He hit the rod and said, it was down. That's all I could do to get to it and grab it. I mean, he just smacked it. It was down. It was gone. I had it reeled. Let me catch my breath on that one a second, y'all. He got me by a surprise. Mm. Nice blue, y'all. That was a nice blue right there. Three. Three for y'all. Hey, let's keep going. Well, y'all, we lost my bell. I lost the bell on that one. I don't know where it went. I took it damn thing all so fast, and I guess I slung it. So hey, y'all down here this spot, y'all find a bell. That one's on me, and it was well worth it. I hope somebody finds it. That one is on me. That bell is on me. I got plenty of them things. I love them bells. I tell you, I do. I got muddy, nasty, and everything on that one. I ain't even trying to blind y'all. Hey, I got muddy and nasty on that one. I tell you, I did. Whoo wee. Hey, we're going to reel them all in, bait them up, and cast them all back out. Oh, man. Whew. That was a good one there, y'all. Man, that was a good one. That was a beauty. Oh, man. Man, that was a beauty. That was a beaut. Nobody like, ain't nothing on here. You knew that? Big clean. Y'all want to chicken it up? Y'all want to chicken it up? Y'all want to chicken up Robbie's rod? Let's chicken up Robbie's rod. We'll be back. What's going on, y'all? We in the dark. Like I said, we got bugs bad. So we've been in the dark a lot. I just moved the rods around a little bit. Where I'm fishing at, there is a deep, gigantic hole right here in front of me. <clears throat> I am almost out of line on my quantum reel. So I'm not casting it out deep no more. So I moved it to the little 
in the middle. And I'm just dropping it over the edge like if I was fishing a pier. And as soon as I dropped it in the water, something bent it down and I started to reel it up and it flopped right off. A little itty, I could see it. This is a little itty bitty tiny, tiny channel cat. <laughs> um, it didn't even have it bait. It was just bit onto the end of the bait. So uh, we're going to sit here and play with that a little, for a little while. Like I said, it's almost spun all, all the line. I, I, I got it hung up earlier and had to pop the line, so it's about out of line. I got a backup rod. I done changed. I got two of them quantum reels. So if that one runs out of spool, I'm not going to change it. I'm going to just set it to the side, and I'll just finish out the night with my two. I've had to change it before I don't want to have to change it I'm not going to change it I, it's too late in the night for that hey <laughs> let's see if we can get y'all one right here like I'm pier fishing yeah we in the dark y'all uh wind starting to pick up and I felt a few raindrops I've been watching the lightning I just flipped over and looked at check the weather Got clear skies. I don't got no bag with me. Um, I'm gonna sit here a few more minutes. I got old Channel Cat sitting here playing with this rod. I done hooked him twice. He just had bit on the bait. He's so little. I just been sitting here toying with him, playing with him, just having fun. I guess he's just keeping me awake, really. He just bent it down now. He's on there. Y'all see that? Y'all hear that? He pulled the bait off that time, y'all. <laughs> well, I'm not going to leave bait. Um, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to really zen. I'm gonna go check on my truck. I've been hearing some tires squalling up there. Hey, we'll be back. We're gonna check his weather. Check your truck and we'll be back. Yeah, yeah, we back. I'm sorry. Huh. Oh. Whew. We baited back up. Now we cashing out. Oh, man. I didn't see nothing up in the barn tonight. And I didn't see nothing in the sky, in the sky either. Uh, hopefully we'll be all right for the duration of this trip. We're going to go back to playing with this little channel cat. Try to keep me awake. Till then, hopefully we'll have y'all another one. Fish on, y'all. Got that. Robbie's ride too, y'all. Uh. Yeah, baby.
Oh Lord. Y'all baby. Come on. Please no. Your baby trifecta on your run, big cat. Oh, big cat fable. Look at this mm. flathead action, y'all. Whoo, Robbie and Daddy. Hey, I don't mean to, uh, ah, ah, man, he's hooked good too, y'all. I take a minute here, y'all. It's on Robbie's rod. Oh, that's a trifecta, y'all. Mm. Let me pull my pants up. I got the flathead on Robbie's rod. As soon as we got back, that's what we needed was the break. That's what we needed was the break. We got the trifecta and we got it on Robbie's rod. Uh, the flathead, y'all. The one that's been eluding us. And it's a nice one, too. It's a nice flat. Oh, it's a nice flat. Let me get a picture. Pause this. Whew. Ah, oh, man. Hey. I get excited when I catch flatheads, y'all. Let's go put him back. Oh, let me get my light. I'll be right back. Oh man. And he swam off. Hey. Let me get baited up and get back out. Oh, no, I'm back. Angel, if you watch this, that one was for Robbie. Oh, anybody else that sees this, uh, Angel is Robbie's sister. Had to catch my breath. What's going on, y'all? Well, some of y'all that might not know, um, Robbie was my best friend from childhood. Uh, he's no longer with us. Um, he is, uh, he's going to be with the Lord. Uh, I done a catfish and memorial in his honor on Facebook Live and a catfish big cat fever rod I bought that was the first one I ever bought and I bought that pin reel and put on it and I dedicated it to him that's his rod and that's his reel so every time I catch a fish 
I got the, a rod jumping here. Every time I catch a catfish on that rod, I get overexcited about it. It's like he's caught that fish. So, I don't want y'all to think I'm crazy or anything when y'all hear me holler or scream out when I catch a fish on that rod. I got one hitting, them, hitting my, the, big, the, uh, the big 10 foot rod right now. Yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a recap on that in case y'all y'all haven't y'all didn't know. Um, he's got a memorial page, uh, Robbie Lawrence, uh, on Facebook. He's got, like I said, he's got a memorial page. If y'all want to go look it up, or um, y'all can go on my Facebook page and um, and see the. Um, it was a fishing trip. It was at, uh, it started out actually at um, Anglers Park, but it was so windy we couldn't fish. I mean, it was just. Oh God! We ended up going to Lake Burton, and then it was still windy down there, and it rained, and I just kept on fishing. I won't want to stop. I didn't care. We didn't catch nothing, but it, I didn't care. I kept fishing. I fished through the wind. I fished through the rain. <clears throat> Facebook tried to block a video because I done a Luke Bryan song in it. Drink a beer. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, but I won't go let nothing stop me. Hey, hopefully we'll get y'all another one. Huh, fish on y'all, and I already got him up on the bank. And I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. It's a gar. Huh. Uh, we really out doing ourselves tonight. Let me get my pliers. Oh, Lord. Jeez, I hate these damn things here. I snagged the shit out of his ass. Let me undo the drag on my reel. Uh -uh. Get back up here. Damn thing got teeth. Oh, man. Gar, y'all. <laughs> Whew. We go, Gar. Huh. Huh. Bloopers. Anybody say bloopers? I don't even know how to hold one of these damn things, y'all. These damn things got teeth. Mm. Damn things long run. Let me pause this good picture. Alright, all right, we back y'all. We're gonna pause this, get him off, throw him back, bait up and get back out there. Man, I wish y'all could see me. I am covered in mud from the bottom of my soles to the top of my head. <laughs> oh, good Lord, y'all. Hey, this night, this, this trip is about over. We have had an amazing night. I mean, it has been one blessed, amazing night. 
Dan River catfishing, y'all. Amazing night. Hey, shout out and special thanks to Big Cat Fever Rod. They caught flatheads. They caught channels. They caught blues. And they pulled in a garden night. And then the, then the Tar Heel, that's what we call it, the Tar Heel pulled in the big blue. Hey, special thanks, y'all. Let's sit back and watch you ride for a little while in some silence. Man, we just get a little breather. Mm. Maybe one of them will pop for y'all. Keep thinking something's sitting at old Tar Heel Rod, but I believe it's just the current pulling it down. I have sweated repeatedly tonight. I don't know where I just got that big educated word from. That's Robbie's Dry right there we're looking at. Can't really see it. The tar here, right? They good. When it's black, I painted that white tip on it, but you still can't see it with the light on it in the dark. On the camera, I can see it perfect. Y'all can't see it. It just don't stand out. You can see the real butter, and you can see anything. In the blue, you can't see the tip of it. Pulled an all nighter, y'all. I hope we got y'all some good footage. I'll go back and look at it. And I hope we got y'all some good footage. We'll come back either when the fish comes on or the sun comes up. As soon as I said that, y'all fish over. And I ain't got my hand on it for me. Oh. 
Uh, Robbie's rod, too. Yeah, Thing got dirty. Oh, got my hat and everything. No, but he's got one hook in him. Damn, what my head like that? He got a hook down in him. Somebody else is hooked in him too. We might have to perform a little, try to perform a little surgery here. See what we can do. <clears throat> Open up those buttons. Ah, we got Whew. saved one. Ah, 
another blue, y'all. Heck yeah. Pause, just get a picture. Let's get him back in the water, y'all. Well, huh. I said I'd come back when we got a fish or the sun come up. Didn't take long. Hey, we've had an amazing night down here tonight, y'all. Let's see if we can do that again. There was another one on Robbie's rod. Hmm. All we had to do was just move the position, I guess. He didn't like sitting in the middle, I reckon. And since it caught that gar, that middle rod ain't done nothing. The gar jinxed it. I hate them things. Them things got teeth. You gotta be careful. Them things will jump up. Them things will jump up. You try to get them hooks out, you gotta be careful. Them things will jump up and bite you. I watch one of them things, man. You just low it up. Them things will get you. Alright. We're gonna pause this and uh, we'll try that again. We'll come back either when uh, we got a fish or the sun comes up. We got one pulling on it, y'all. On Robbie's rod again. Just pulled on it anyway. We'll put it that way. Probably just jinxed it. Because I did say we'd come back when we had one on or the sun was up. So I came in premature. Bugs water. Bugs fought up many more. Hmm.
Let's pause it when he's on, hopefully. Catfish people, what's up? Hey, what better way to end this with the sun coming up? We came back in here. We packed back in here. We put the work in. And it paid off. Dan River catfishing. I'm going to tell you what. It's nice. We caught channel cats. We caught blue cats. We caught flatheads. And we throw the gar in there. We got them on Robbie's rod, the quantum, the tar heel. We were very blessed tonight. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, give me a like. Give me a follow, subscribe. Thumbs up, y'all. Shout out. Big Cat Fever Rods. Johnny Southeastern Outdoors in Henry County, Virginia. <clears throat> All my followers, subscribers, Catfishing Southwest Virginia, Facebook group, Mike Stokes Fishing, Facebook, Facebook group, Forgotten Souls, TikTok. All my family and friends, thank y'all. Everybody that I've been meeting, at all these fishing spots where I've been going and fishing, we've been talking, trading tips, fishing holes. Hey, I love it. Y'all keep in line. Listen to the birds. Hey, y'all keep in lines tight. God bless all of y'all. Happy fishing trips.